Hello and welcome to Engine Adventures. Today we're going to be talking about the undercoating here. All right, so we have the Jeep all prepped and ready. I've cleaned it all. I wiped it all with a uh, Scotch-Brite pad. So all this should be ready to go. We sprayed it off with the air compressor and all of this stuff is what came out of the frame and there's still more. So what we're gonna do right now is just spray the outside of the frame and then, and I'm gonna try it with this undercoating in a can rubberized coating because it's going on to this new raw metal there's no rust under there or anything and then for the inside of the frame I'm still gonna use undercoating in a can but I'm gonna use their sprayer and a you know out of a five gallon pail they were awesome enough to sponsor this and we're gonna test out and see how it works but I want to try the rubberized here on the outside and I'm not pulling off this cross member to coat underneath it uh, right now. I will be replacing that in the future as part of the long arm suspension lift. So I'm not uh, gonna worry about it and I don't want a ton of buildup in there anyway. So let's get to it. All right, so I've got this mill thickness gauge and the problem is they tell you they want around 10 mil when it's dry and this is a wet gauge. So we're gonna aim for like 16, 17, which would be these ones here. And what you do is, this is not a flat surface, but you put it on a flat surface on the frame and take it off and then you see which one it's touching you go to the last one it's touching. So if you're going for a 17, it should be touching 14, 15, 16, and maybe touching 17. And then that would put you between 16 and 17. And so you just put it on the surface, whatever you're, you're painting or coating. And then, yeah, that's how you check it. So we're gonna check after one coat, we'll see what it is real quick and then uh, add more layers as we need to. Okay, so that last one was about 17 mils. So right where we wanted it to be. 
And I know you're not gonna be able to see anything because the light's on the wrong side. I'll just carry the light around with me. There we go. So uh, I'm not a very good painter and that stuff goes on really, really well. It's really forgiving. So all the stupid little stick mistakes I made, it just kind of self levels and takes care of it. Uh, this coating is the main coating, but you can see uh, probably a couple little areas where it's not completely covered. So when this completely dries, I will do the inside of the frame and up in that crack up there. So I did try and spray in there as best I could, but uh, anyway, well, we'll, we will get the wax based stuff and that one creeps much better and it should it actually doesn't look too bad but it should creep down in there all the way and make it so that no water can get to the metal i'm really looking forward to this stuff i'm again super happy with how that went on there i did a terrible job of spraying and it did a great job of leveling out all of my imperfections so hopefully when it dries, we're in the right area. You can see actually right here, I stuck the gauge on and there's, I don't know how well that shows up on the camera, but as you can see a bunch of little dimples along there. And that's from the wet gauge thickness or the wet thickness gauge. Anyway, it's it should be pretty good. So we'll let it dry and I might scrape some off with a knife. I might just leave it nice thing about this stuff is you can always come back and coat it again and especially with those spray cans you just get a new can or i have the the one can that's open now uh, you can just spray it and you're ready to go just cover up what you need it takes a few hours to dry it needs to be above 50 degrees which is i tried to rush in and do it tonight because it's going to be colder than that for the next little while but yeah really really simple to use if you've got I mean, if you don't have an air compressor and a sprayer, just buy the, the cans. I think it's like 80 bucks for 12 cans. And I used one and a half on this. So two cans, maybe three cans to do the whole um, frame section. And then if you're gonna do all this other stuff under here too, uh, it's definitely gonna be more than that. But yeah, not too bad. If you buy a case of 12, that'll cover everything you need for sure. It's been a year since I put this stuff on there. This is from undercoating in a can, and this is the rubberized. Holy cow, am I impressed with it. It's been amazing. So there are a few little things here and there, mostly because of me, but really not ru any rust on this thing hardly at all. See what I mean? Like the few little things in there that I didn't get a very good coating on it, and maybe around those. But other than that, the coating has held up so well over the past year. I've been super impressed with it. I They've sent out three different types. So they have the black undercoating, uh, black rubberized, which I have on here. And it's extremely slick out, but anyway. And so this is the black rubberized. And then they have two wax coatings, a black and a clear. And I'm going to be putting the clear or black, either one doesn't matter, inside the frame once I clean it all out, once I'm done welding all the other frame stiffeners and everything on there. But for the outside, where I'm starting with bare, clean metal, this uh, rubberized coating works really well. If you are spraying the rubberized over existing rust, it will make the problem much worse. But if you use the wax, if you're coating something that's already covered in rust, use the wax coating and it will stop the rust. So, Really impressed with this. Like I said, it's been a year since I've installed it. As you can see, there's been quite a bit other things done on the Jeep since then, and we'll go over all of that in future videos. But in the course of that year, I've been super impressed with this undercoating in a can. And I'll put links in the description down below so you can go to their website, get some of their stuff if you're interested in it. Thanks for watching Engine Adventures review of this undercoating in a can. And the one year review of it and like i said really love this stuff up here don't have it yet because i haven't put on the frame stiffener up there but all the way back well all the center section i guess i still need to do the rear it's just been great over the past year 
highly recommend this stuff and it's not too expensive either so this one i used a spray can and i only used like one and a half cans maybe two cans to do the whole thing so i didn't need a whole lot to do that and really love how it turned out if you liked what you saw be sure to hit subscribe ring the bell so you get notifications when we post new videos and give me a thumbs up comment down below with any questions or comments you may have and have a great day